Watch me get myself in trouble now. Bonsoir. <rire> I don't have Bonsoir. Ça va? Oui, ça va et toi? Ah, Mais ça tu va parles bien, bien français. Ah, okay, you're fluent. That's my sum total. Don't go any further. Okay. Jazeel Martin, what's this thing about being caught up in a gang feud when you're on your way to school? I think you're in second form. What happened? Yeah, um, so in second form, I was on my way. I was at St. George's College at the time. And um, I'm from Augustown, right? And I was, I got ready, left the house, and I'm on my way to the bus stop. Um, going down a hill, when I look straight ahead, there are about six gunmen coming towards me. Then when I turned and I looked behind, there were a whole lot of other gunmen coming towards me. So I literally had to drop between the, the curb of a, side, of a sidewalk and a parked car, nails digging in the dirt, gunshots ringing like crazy. And I mean, tears falling from my eyes, praying and asking God for a gunshot not to hit me. It was one of the most terrifying experiences of my life to date, but a very defining moment in my life. Why was it so defining? I remember getting up that morning after everything, and I walked down to the bus stop. Fortunately, a bus had been there and basically couldn't move because they didn't know what was going on. Jumped on the bus, went to school, got to school late, and I remember when I was in the Dean of Discipline's office, and he was shouting, young man, why are you late? I mean, it was just noise in my ears, and I started crying. And, I, and I, I thought to myself, you know, is this a life that I'm going to live forever? Am I going to constantly be in violence? Am I going to, you know, constantly be, be, be living a life worrying, you know, whether I'm going to get shot when I go home or whether my mother is going to make it home or, you know? Or is there something greater? Is there something better out there?